Hello friends, this video on probability part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 and part 2. We'll understand the concept of probability more because building the concept is more important. Find the probability of getting a head coin when a coin is tossed once. Also find the probability of getting a tail. So if you see, so I have a coin, this is my tail side and this is my head side. So this coin is tossed. The total outcome I will get is, if it is tossed once, I will get either head or I will get tail. Correct. Now I am asked to find the probability of head. So this is nothing but total number of favorable outcome that is 1. This guy is the only favorable outcome 1. Total number of outcomes 1 plus 1 is 2. Because the formula is favorable outcome by total number of outcome. That is the formula we have. So that is favorable outcome is 1 and total number of outcome is Two. So the probability will be 1 by 2. So for probability of tail also, same formula, probability favorable outcome by total outcome. So what is the favorable outcome? Probability of tail, this is 1. This guy is the favorable outcome, I put in the square bracket, 1. And total number of outcome is 1 plus 1, that is 2. So probability of tail is also 1 by 2. Here also if you notice, we have noticed, we have told something that probability of any event is always greater than 0, greater than or equal to 0 and less than 1. Here if you see in both the case, the result is 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 is less than equal to 1 and greater than or equal to 0. That condition is true. Also we told that probability of all the events that is probability of head plus probability of tail should be 1. So if you notice here probability of head is 1 by 2, probability of tail is 1 by 2 that is 1. So that is also true. Also we have told that probability of head will be 1 minus probability of tail. Correct? That is here also if you see probability of head is 1 by 2 and probability of tail is 1 minus 1 by 2. Is 1 by 2. So LHS and RHS are same. So all three things which we have learned is true here that is any probability is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 1 and sum of all the probabilities 1. Let's take some more example. A jar contain red ball, blue ball, yellow ball. All the balls same size. What is the probability that we take out yellow, red or blue ball? This is a jar. It has three balls. All same size and it is covered actually. So since it is same size you can't bring it down. Had this been different size you can from the size you can make out which is the blue, which is the black, which is the red ball. Since it is same size we can't even write. So it is equal probability event. Correct. There is no way to write. It is all covered actually. Now from this we take out one ball. So probability of let's suppose of first what a uh, outcome, what all outcome can come? The ball which we take out can be blue, can be red or can be yellow. So let me write the outcome can be red, blue or yellow ball. Any of this? So there are three outcomes actually. The first thing is we have to find the probability of yellow ball. So probability of yellow is nothing but favorable outcome by total number of outcome. For yellow, there is only one chance that can be yellow. So it will become 1. Total number of outcomes, there can be 3 outcomes. So it is 1 by 3 is the probability of yellow ball. Similar to this, probability of red ball. Again, favorable outcome by total number of outcome. 
So if every outcome is one, because there is only one red, and there are three outcomes, red, yellow, or blue, so one by three. Similarly, probability of blue will be same thing, favorable outcome by total number of outcome. Here also, favorable outcome is one because there is only one blue ball, and total number of outcome is three, one by three. Correct. So we have one by three, one by three. So here also, if you know, observe that P E is always greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to one. You see, one by three is greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to one. Also, we are told that sum of all the probability, probability of yellow plus probability of red plus probability of blue should be equal to one. So let's find what is the value. One by three plus one by three plus one by three, and that comes out to be one. Correct. So we got both the statement is true, and here also let's suppose we want to find probability of not yellow. So we'll say probability of not yellow as yellow dash. So that is this probability of not yellow is nothing but one minus probability of yellow. That is nothing but one minus one by three. That is two by three. If you want to find probability of not of something, that becomes one minus probability of that thing. That is probability of yellow is one minus probability. Probability of not yellow is one minus probability of yellow. Probability of not red is one minus probability of red. So let's understand something. What we have observed now: probability of not of E P E dash is nothing but one minus probability of E. Also, we observe that any probability is less than equal to zero, or greater than equal to zero, and less than equal to one. Also, we observe that sum of all the probabilities. Is equal to one. Let's take some more example to clear our concept whether this probability or not. So we have to find whether it is probability or not. So the first thing is two by three. Is it probability or not? So we do we know that probability of any event should be greater than equal to zero and less than equal to one. So this guy is two by three is greater than zero and less than one. So we we'll say it is a probability. Of any given minus one point five, no, because it has always it should always be greater than zero. So this is not a probability of given. Fifteen percent, yes. Why? Because fifteen percent is nothing but fifteen by hundred, and if you see fifteen by hundred is greater than zero, greater than zero. So this is and less than one also. So fifteen percent is probability of given. Point seven, yes. Point seven is nothing but seven by ten. And seven by ten is greater than zero and less than one. Five by four, five by four. If you see nothing but one one by four, that is one point two five. And this guy is greater than. So this guy is not the probability of even. So these two are not probability of even. Other than probability of even. Why? Because these two are either negative or greater than. It's a very simple question. The probability of event is given. P e is given. We have to find P of not e. So we know that P of not e is just application of formula is equal to one minus P e. This formula we know. Just put the values. This becomes one minus P e is what? Point zero five. So this comes out to be point nine five. So P of not e is point nine five. Correct. Very simple. Just apply the formula. Get the Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.